Sunti and Travel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Danielle and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on Blue Lagoon Island in Nassau, Bahamas. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the meeting location. Our tickets for Blue Lagoon Island were in an envelope in our stateroom on our first day and it told us to meet at I think it was 9.30 that morning outside of the ship and whenever we went out there we found the person that we needed to and we were placed in a line and after standing there for a little bit we were walked over to the Blue Lagoon boat and we were on our way to Blue Lagoon Island. After the boat ride, we arrived at Blue Lagoon Island. The first thing that I did there was the sea lion encounter. Whenever I went to the meeting spot, we put on our life jacket and got in a line to get our photo taken with the sea lion. After that, we went down to the water and I felt like we had a good amount of time with the sea lion and it wasn't rushed at all. I think it was an amazing experience and it was definitely worth it and I highly recommend it. After the sea lion encounter was over, we had to go get ready for the dolphin encounter. My mom actually did this one with me. And the group for this one was a lot bigger than the group that I had with the sea lion. And I felt that the dolphin encounter was a lot more rushed. The platform that you stand on for the dolphin was very slippery if you aren't careful compared to the sea lion one. Overall, it was a lot of fun and I was still recommended because it was a very amazing experience and I loved it. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is the food at Blue Lagoon Island. The ticket that we got to come to Blue Lagoon did not include the buffet. We walked by the buffet and everything looked good but we didn't have it so I'm not sure how it was. We had to order lunch from the bar and there was very limited options. My mom and I decided to get the cheese quesadilla with french fries. It tasted okay, it wasn't amazing. I also had no idea it came on a green tortilla, but it ended up tasting okay, but I would not get it again. The next thing I want to talk about is the boat ride. The boat was clean and the ride to Blue Lagoon was just like any other boat ride. You can tell that the boats are older and could use some updating, but I never felt unsafe. Another thing I want to talk about for Blue Lagoon Island is the cleanliness. I thought that the island was super clean. Everywhere you looked, there was workers cleaning up and making sure that everything was clean. And also, the restrooms were very clean. The last thing that I want to talk about for Blue Lagoon Island is the cost. I paid $188 for the Blue Lagoon Island Dolphin Encounter and Beach Day through the cruise line. And then whenever we got there, I paid $130 to add on the Sea Lion Encounter. After the sea lion encounter and the dolphin encounter, I went to the photo and video area and I ended up paying $258 for both encounters for the photos and videos, which is very outrageous. Then we ended up paying $18 for lunch. So not including any souvenirs that I got, we ended up paying $594 for our day at Blue Lagoon Island in Nassau, Bahamas. We really enjoyed our time at Blue Lagoon Island. I hope you guys give it a chance if you are ever in Nassau, Bahamas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!